I'm gonna be honest with you guys, man. We are so close to our blessings that I can feel it, you can feel it, you know it's right there. But we have to keep the pressure up. Because if we take our we can't take our foot off the gas. And I can imagine my life being happy. I can imagine myself a year from now being married and being in a different state and just being with different people and continuing the dream, continuing to see what life has for me, continuing to be that positive person just in a new environment where people support and love, where people support and stand by her more of what I do and I can grow into another better person with more support and more happiness around me, as we all should. It's been dark for so long, but I can finally see the light. I can finally get happy. I can finally feel like I'm done with my past. And I finally can move on and move forward and talk about different things, brighter things, happier things. That's what Spirit told me. And he just told me keep up the pressure and keep up the positivity and keep up the happiness. You're so close. Don't let off now. Just keep the pressure up. Keep coming, get it. You're about to make your breakthrough. You're right there at the end. You just have to keep applying pressure and not letting up on what you believe, not abandoning your beliefs or not abandoning your belief system. You're closer than you've ever been. You're about to get your family out of their situation and change you guys' life forever and make a difference for the whole world not just your family. What you do is important to the world. It sends a message that you can do anything you want to do. You just have to hold on a little bit longer. You're right there at the end. I can feel it. You can feel it. We just have to keep the pressure up and keep telling people the truth. Keep telling people what you feel. Keep letting people know that their that their lives are where they almost want them to be. We just have to have a little bit more of this karmic cycle. Don't give up on yourself. We're right there at the end, and you're the one that is going to tote your family into the future. And I've had that confirmed for myself, and that's exciting, knowing that I'm the one that controls the future of where I, where me and my family go. I'm excited because that's something I've always wanted to do. And I'm curious to see where we're going to end up a year from now. I think we're all going to end up in a different state, or I, at least I know I will. I'm going to be married. I'm going to be happy. And I'm going to come on here and tell y'all about that, and y'all going to get to see what what it looks like me exploring that for the first time me exploring fatherhood for the first time, me just living a better life and experiencing more first and more new things and more exciting things and more just living living a better, happier, more brighter life. Not saying that my life is not happy, but you get bored being alone. And then once you find that special person to be dedicated to, all you want to do is be around them, live around them, and see how life is around them. So I'm curious to see how that part of my life is. After being alone for so long, it's nice to have somebody to be loyal to that you know aren't, isn't going to go anywhere or isn't going to do anything that they're not supposed to do because they truly love you, they truly stand by you, and they truly support you. And that's something I've never had in my life. I've had people always to support me. But when you find your divine soulmate, it's something different. It just hits different. It feels different. It feels more permanent. You feel more comfortable. Your soul just feels better. Your life just feels better. Your energy just feels better. Your thoughts your thoughts about life just automatically gets happier. 
you can imagine a whole life with this person and dedicate a whole life to this person because you know they're not going anywhere. You can feel it in your soul. You can feel it in your spirit. You can feel it in your heart. You can feel it in your DNA. You just know that person was made for you and you was made for them. And you know, as long as y'all together, y'all can tackle anything. And I personally feel like what I went through in my single life and my on my single journey prepared me for my relationship journey, if it makes sense. Because I feel like the thing I went through on my single journey was way tougher than anything I could go through in my relationship journey. So I'm excited for the relationship because the relationship is going to come when I'm in my place of peace, when I'm in my place of happiness. And I don't care what we have to go through in our relationship. It's nothing compared to what I had to go through when I was fighting through my single journey. So I would rather share my life with somebody that I know is not going to go anywhere and go through all those quote-unquote problems than continue to be single and go through what I've been going through for most of my life. It's not worth it being alone anymore. Not for me. I don't feel like I have to be Superman. I don't feel like I have to do everything myself, nor do I want to. And neither should you. Everybody should want somebody. It's okay to want somebody, but you should make sure you find the person that supports your dreams. You find the person that loves you for who you are, and you find the person that pushes you to be better, that excites you as much as you excite them, that makes you feel like every day is the best day in the world. You should find somebody that automatically wants to support you, want to help you, want to motivate you, want to push you to be the best version of you. Because it's hard when you're the only one that's doing something or you're the only one that believes in something. I've been there. If your partner is unsupportive, try to sit them down and talk to them about it first. Then if they keep crashing you down, keep beating you down, keep telling you negative stuff, Maybe it's time to reevaluate who you're around. Maybe it's time to reevaluate who you love. Maybe it's time to reevaluate what you're doing with that person. If they didn't match nothing, if they're not trying to grow with you, maybe it's that y'all started out on the same level, but you grew past that person. Because I had that happen to me before, too. And when you grow past somebody that you thought was going to be there for you, Forever, it hurts, but eventually you have to move on, and eventually God is going to push that divine soul made in your life. You just have to keep knowing your spiritual work and keep your head up. I know it hurts. I know it probably going to feel like your heart broken to a million pieces. Trust me, I was there, but eventually what they don't tell you is you heal, you recover, you become better. And eventually, God going to put that divine one in your life. It just wasn't that person. And I know it, I know it's going to hurt, but you have to let that go because I'm living proof that God will bless you with the right person. It's all about staying dedicated to this spiritual work, staying down and grinding and believing in yourself and believing in the divine order and just looking forward to life and just finding ways to stay positive. And once you find that divine soulmate, I can tell you from personal experience, ain't nothing like it in life. That's why I never let mine go, because I know she that once in a lifetime person. I know she's that person that I want to be with for the rest of my life. I know she's the one. And it's true what they say. When you find the one, you know it, and you know they're going to be loyal. You know they're going to be down, and you know you can build that life with them. So to anybody that broke up with that karmic that thought they was that divine soulmate, it's okay. It hurts now, but I promise you it will get better. The pain will go away, and you will find somebody that's ten times better than what you were going through. I promise, in my opinion, but that's